Well, we cooled off compared to yesterday, but the weather still feels like summer across the state line in some regards. We hit the low 80s earlier this afternoon, like we've seen in these fall evenings, though the weather does cool off fairly quickly. Upper 70s to middle 70s across the state line currently. We'll hold on to that warmth for about another hour before dipping into the 60s after sunset. Satellite radar showing a cold front that came through yesterday. That's why we cooled off today. So we still have this cooler airflow coming in out of the east off of Lake Michigan, uh, resulting in still summer like conditions, but not that record breaking 90 degrees like we saw yesterday. The warmth does come back, so to speak, going into Wednesday and Thursday. Not likely all the way back up to 90 degrees, but we trend a little closer the next couple days. So that summer like weather definitely rolling on for at least a couple more days. We get beyond Thursday, though, fall weather may try to move in a little quicker, so we'll look at that in the long range forecast. For right now, though, 53 for tonight, so we still have that fall like feel for at least a little while into the overnight hours under a mainly clear sky. And tomorrow being National Coffee Day, maybe a warm beverage early on in the morning as we still are in those low 50s, but then look how quickly we warm back up again 60s to upper 70s before lunchtime, likely hitting 80 degrees by noon tomorrow under a bright sunny sky. So uh, overall, even though we still have some hints of fall in the morning hours, uh, we definitely get right back into that summer heat going into the afternoon. In fact, we're up to 87 in the forecast for tomorrow under a mainly sunny sky. This is a good 15 degrees above average, not likely to set any records as we'd have to get into the 90s, but we're getting close to that territory going into tomorrow afternoon as well as on Thursday. We're going to hold on to this summer stretch for those two days with dry and sunny conditions. We then get into Friday and the weekend. Might start to see that cooler weather try to come in a little faster in the forecast as well as see some beneficial rainfall. So here's a very early look at the end of the work week. Uh, definitely take this with a grain of salt. Is so we still got a couple days to see how this trends, but Friday morning starting to see some rain showers in the region. Those could be rather hit or miss on Friday. You can see there's a lot of dry area on future track radar, but we are starting to get some hints of rain trending in a little faster for Friday. Then into the weekend, scattered showers possible. I don't think it'll be raining the entire time, but as you can see, rain in the region, definitely over the state line for Saturday. You may see that back and forth uh, uh, conditions between dry and wet weather for Sunday and then drying out possibly briefly Sunday night before rain comes back on Monday. So we may have a couple days worth of beneficial rainfall as well as that colder weather on the way. Next couple of days though, again, still feeling like summer, middle 80s, lots of sunshine. We're going to keep a slight chance for rain in the forecast for Friday. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see if those showers come in a little faster than the weekend. Uh, we're seeing those rain chances grow, so keep that in mind. Uh, might see some scattered showers Saturday through Monday as the weather cools off. Back into the 60s by early next week, so we get those fall uh, conditions come in uh, rather quickly. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we're going to hold on to the fall weather for the long term 60s to 70s throughout much of next week, Evan. Thank you, Alan.